Hello again, everybody. This is Controller Cramps coming to you with another video. It is Saturday, and you know what that means. It's Slashback Saturday, brought to you by The Horror Man. I'm going to be putting his uh, channel in the description. Uh, I've been having some fun today watching some of those reviews uh, from everybody, and uh, going to finish off the evening tonight, I think, watching the rest of the ones that I that are in my feed, at least. Um, yeah, so it is Slashback Saturday, and uh, the theme, there goes my finger, the theme for this week is sort of a hometown slasher type of type of thing. Some, a slasher that is a local slasher, uh, a movie that was either filmed somewhere locally or takes place somewhere locally. And I hope I have that right. But the um, thing is with me is that I move a lot. From uh, I'm, I'm 40 years old right now. From the time I was 17, I've pretty much been on the road. Um, I was in the military. Since then, I you know with work and everything, I move. I move sometimes three times a year. So I don't really have a local area that I call home anymore. You know, if I had, if I had an area that I called home anymore, it would be Maine, because you know that's where I grew up and everything. But right now, I'm in South Carolina, so it's a long ways off. But <clears throat> I thought that this would actually be a good choice because I can relate to these. I can actually sort of relate to both of these. And that is the Night Stalker and the Night Strangler. So these are made for TV movies that came out, I think 1972, 1973, and 1972 for that one. And here is the sequel. This came out in 1973. Okay, I was right. Starring Darren McGavin as Kolchak, um, the intrepid reporter who reminds me very much of Mulder from the X-Files. And um, that's actually something that I've heard other people say about these. Um, this character was actually, from what, I, what I've read, was, was supposed to be in the X-Files as sort of a foil to Mulder, um, sort of a, I don't know, a compadre of Mulder's, maybe, and uh, ended up playing a whole, completely different character. Now, Darren McGavin, also, you might recognize him from uh, Christmas Story. That's where I recognize him from. If you've seen a Christmas Story, he played the father in that, the whole Fragile thing with the leg lamp. That is him. Now, uh, the way these uh, work for me is that I can relate to both of these. This one takes place in Las Vegas. This one takes place in Seattle. Well, when I was in the Army, I lived in the Seattle area, and my girlfriend at the time was from Las Vegas. So I have been there as well. Um, so I am very familiar with both areas. Um, the Space Needle there, they had a cool scene at the Space Needle in this particular movie. So basically, it, this is a supernatural natural slasher movie series. Um, there was also a television series based on this as well, and I think they do have the DVDs out there. I want to get them because I enjoy these quite a bit. Um, the first one takes place um, in Las Vegas, and there is a serial killer on the loose, and uh, he is killing women that are walking home at night alone and somehow draining them of their blood. And um, <clears throat> it's really cool because one of the victims is like in the center of a construction zone where it's all sand. And there's no footprints going to her, no footprints coming away. It's very, very odd, and she's completely drained of blood. So it's, very, uh, it's a very strange crime scene. Uh, well, he gets the idea that it could be an actual vampire, you know, because the cops have tried to take this guy down. They've actually caught him, but this guy's like throwing them around like they're rag dolls. I mean, the guy is like, has like superhuman strength Really, really crazy stuff. Nobody believes him that it's a vampire. Everybody has a hard time with that idea. But um, yeah, you'll have to you'll have to watch the actual show or the actual movie to find out what happens in this. But I really enjoyed this, and I really do see the similarities between this and the X Files. Um, this right here, when I started watching it, The Night Strangler, the one that takes place in um, in Seattle. I thought um, it really, it, it starts off like a very similar way where these, these young women are walking home alone, they get killed, and someone's taking their blood. So I'm like, <clears throat> okay, well, are they just going to completely rehash um, 
the first movie or is this going to be something different? Well, they do make a turn and it's very, very interesting, still supernatural. Um, and he's still the open minded reporter. And uh, yeah, enjoyed it quite a bit. I don't want to give stuff away in these reviews because I, I really want to recommend that you watch these. I think you will enjoy them. I really do. <clears throat> the quality of, of both of these is for a made for TV show. The quality of these is, is fantastic. Very, very sharp picture, excellent sound. I love the music in these too. It, they're really sets the mood, sort of a noir detective type music. Really enjoy it. Um, highly recommended. Check these out if you get the chance. Um, yeah. One cool thing about this too is that there's there's his uh, his editor. That, that's not him. Is that him? Yeah, that might be him right there. But they get into fights all the time, but they're still sort of friends at the same time. It, it's just, it's a really cool relationship, really funny. Yeah. The Night Stalker and The Night Strangler. Check them out if you have not seen them yet. I guarantee you, you will like these. Very, very good stuff. I'm going to buy the TV series next. And I uh, can't wait to show that off as well because I love the character. The character is really cool. Really cool. I think they actually wrote some books about, about this guy too, Kolchak. And uh, you will see the similarities between this and the X-Files. You will see that. So anyways, thanks for watching Flashback Saturday. Have a good night.